some color coding of buttons and folders, which can be helpful if there's certain things that kids need to be able to find quickly. Yeah. So if I go into maybe, actually I'm going to go into people. All right. So people. If I wanted to, or actually I'm going to switch back to basic communication is already loaded with like specific types of people, which would be easier for this demonstration. People. people. Let's say I wanted to color code people that I was related to a certain color so that I can both know that and reinforce that concept of who I'm related to and who I'm not, and also I can find those people easier if I'm looking for them. So what I would do is I would click on the pencil tool again and select all the people that I'm related to. So sister, brother, mom, dad, grandmother, grandfather. And then once you're in there, you can go to properties, the second tab here, and it'll come up with these options. And I can change the background color maybe to a, and it gives you a lot of different choices here, pastel colors, I like this color, even though it's a little bit gray. And then you'll see that all of these buttons that I selected show up with the bright blue background, which can be helpful for some kids. And you can also change the border color. I'll just change grandfather right now. And also notice that if you've only selected one button in the when you're in the pencil tool, it'll come up with you can change the text to speak and the picture and the label. But since the first time I selected multiple buttons, it won't show up with that because they all have Images and different types of speed. And here it's got work time, background color, border color. We can just make this, that's got pink. And see, grandfather will change to past that pink here. And display invisibility, you, I don't think you would ever want to mess with that. The one example it gave in the webinars of the visibility is if they're, again, really fixated on cookies and you tell them they can't have any cookies right now. You can go to that button Food. and change the visibility to hit, and then it won't, they won't be able to press that button. That's another way besides the repeat delay if you want to change that. And it'll just go in. But you can always bring it back if you just want to change that. So, any questions oh, sorry, on Jack, where was that? Where did you find the to change the borders? The borders. Ooh. Let's change this one. And you'll see could be reappear, so if you want to make that visible, you can do that. And I went into the pencil tool. Yeah. Tapped on a button. Mm -hmm. Went to this middle tab properties. Oh, so you have to tap on one of them first. Yes. Okay, yes. that's that's the part of this. That's ah. So any more questions? I got it. The one that is hidden now, um, I may see if you could get it back, but is there a list anywhere so I can forget that you hidden it? Um, does it show up in anything or do you just have to remember that you hidden it? Uh, it it doesn't show up anywhere, but there will be there will be an odd space, like it doesn't uh -huh. automatically float in. So if you see any spaces like that, it's probably hidden. And you can always check by tapping on the pencil tools and it'll show up if there's anything that's... And instead of, maybe if you don't want to hide it, you can always just do uh, dimmed, maybe so that you remember that you did change it, because then it won't go away. Any other questions? 